26 years ago this week, a Detroit woman was found strangled to death. Yeah, her family refuses to give up on finding her killer, but they can't do it alone. Megan Wood spoke to her mother and investigators to find out how you can help. 33-year-old Lisa Gaw's body was discovered here on 12th Street under this bridge near I-94. And for her family, yes, more than two decades have passed, but the pain hurts just the same. I always say, Lord, before I leave this earth, I, that's what I want to know. It's the emotional plea this grieving mother prays daily. Dorothy Gauze says some days are harder than others. So every now and then, it'll wear on my heart and I have to call homicide. And people like Captain Donna McCord answer. And she told me who her daughter was. Her daughter had an 18 year old daughter who actually was turning 18 the day after this incident occurred. I call Lisa my love child. She was just, uh, she loved everybody. She had a, a quiet spirit about her. So why would someone kill her? That's what Dorothy wants to know. Here are the facts of the case. On October the 14th of 1997, at approximately 3.30 in the morning, uh, Ms. Lisa Galls was discovered fatally assaulted. The cause of death per the medical examiner's office was strangulation and fatal assault. Dorothy was notified the following day on the 15th. She recalls breaking the news to Lisa's daughter. She came in all happy, it was her birthday. And um, all I said, she saw the detective there, you know, what's going on? And all I said was, Lisa, that's all I said. And she fell to the floor. As for witnesses... Well, that's one of the challenges in this particular case because no witnesses came forward. So that's why we're doing this today. We want to appeal to anyone who may have been in the area who drove by and may have saw something that they may not have discovered at the time what it was but to give us that information. Another challenge is the difference in technology from then to now. And this was over 25 years ago that this occurred. Uh, DNA is, is collected differently. So now we have more samples in the system than we did in 1997, right? So unfortunately, today, back then we didn't have that same technology to help us and assist us in bringing this case to closure. Dorothy is still depending on the tried and true. See something, say something. So maybe two or three of the people who were involved or who knows, um, maybe they're dead, but they may have told somebody else. Somebody knows. The motto has become a big part of her life. Crime Stoppers of Michigan, may I help you? She volunteers with Crime Stoppers of Michigan twice a week. Because it's not just me. What I was going through, other people are going through. And when a crime does get solved, it restores her faith. It's a healing for me, especially if a case is solved. That still lets me know that it doesn't matter how long, how many years. Yeah, and Crime Stoppers still has a $2,500 reward for Lisa's killer. And if you have any information, you can call 1-800-SPEAK-UP. You can remain anonymous or you can call DPD's Homicide Division. We're going to put their phone number on clickondetroit.com. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. And Megan, let's hope some folks can help get that family some closure. Thank you.